Hey everybody, welcome to Resident Evil. Um, Resident Evil HD, the very first remake they ever did, I think, pretty sure. Um, this originally came out for the GameCube in like 2002, I think. It's weird that they have the the trademark year for the when the original RE1 came out and then what I assume is when this version came out but this is based on the remake that came out in like 2002 or maybe three hey Sabine in fact at least I'm not late yeah well hey you you are very early today cool wow they made a game based on the movies oh no um wow there's a lot more options here and on the GameCube version. This is my first time playing the PC edition. So I tried to make sure ahead of time that the controls are set how I like them and that the resolution and everything is good and hopefully everything's good, so. Resident Evil. Resident Evil. We should be able to just hop right in. Um, you know, I just realized the audio, I need to set my audio to stereo mix. You cannot hear the game right now. So let me just do that. Uh, wait, could you guys hear that or not? Because it doesn't look like there's any... Maybe it's just quiet right now, let me see. Oh no, wait, you you guys can't hear it, cool. Um, ah, it's doing that thing where if I click off the game to like mess with anything else, it closes the game. Even though I have it full screen, I don't know if there's like a trick to that, like to pinning games, but that's always why I like, I don't know, console games just always give me an easier time with stuff like that. But um, we're going to do widescreen because, you know, might as well take advantage of that. Uh, original controls, subtitles on because they're always helpful. All right, so you guys heard it. Good. And everything should be good. I thought about doing the 4-3 aspect just for the, you know, the classic feeling. But from what I saw, um... Okay, so... From what I saw, the widescreen looked like it was properly done. So how do you like your games? One, like climbing a mountain, fulfilling, but takes lots of work. Two, like going on a hike, good exercise, but not too strenuous. Or three, <laughs> like taking a walk, you can relax and enjoy yourself. So the original version of this game did not have that third option. This is the first time I'm seeing that, and that's it's actually really funny. I guess that must be, because this is normal and this is easy, so this must be like a very easy mode. Um, but yeah, Resident Evil used to do a very interesting way of giving, because it's not very clear what you're choosing. You know, you might think this is normal, because it says good exercise, not too strenuous, but that's actually easy. So we're actually going to go with mountain climbing which is the actual normal mode. And of course, we got to go with Jill. Oh, you could do different outfits. Okay, I was wondering what the up and down was. That is her Resident Evil 5 outfit, I think. Yeah, that's so bizarre to see. Um, so the reason you, you generally want to go with Jill is because her it's just smoother like even if you're on the harder difficulty or an easier difficulty it things are just a lot tougher with chris because jill has a lock pick which means there's lots of doors that she can open without having to pick up these extra small keys that chris has to pick up because he doesn't have a lock pick and then, and then on top of that chris also has two less item slots 
than Jill, which really doesn't make sense because it's like, it's like not only does he have to pick up extra keys, but he has less spots. So it's like, damn, you know, that's unchill. The the only good thing about Chris is he can take extra damage. He has like higher health. And I think his knife might be a little bit stronger, but everything else is better with Jill. You even have like Barry and, and Jill's uh, playthrough. There was no Barry in, uh, in Chris's. I guess in that timeline, Barry didn't make it, so. We're gonna go Jill. The, the cool thing about Chris though is that you get um, Rebecca, who, who's a cool character. Rebecca doesn't show up in Jill's storyline and maybe until Alpha the end. Is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Here's Raccoon this classic City. opening. We are searching for the helicopter I wonder if this has been redone at all. Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Because this was all, always like a pre-rendered video cutscene. Bizarre murder case still looks really good. In Raccoon City. I loved this effect, how it was zoomed in and you could see the uh, the color um, on like the old CRT TVs. I always thought that was such a great effect. Yeah, this is like pretty much exactly the opening from the GameCube one, except uh, the resolution maybe scaled up a bit. It definitely lives up. You know, it, it still holds up. It looks really nice. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. I can't... We continued our search for the other members. I can't tell if the voice acting's been redone or not. I don't remember it quite well enough. There's Wesker. Good old Wesker. Um... Weird to see a non RE3 remake Jill. Yep, this is the classic Jill. I'm ashamed for simping on fictional characters. <laughs> hey, you're not the only one. Lots of people do that. Yeah, it is always a bad idea to look for people. Cause the, the, because this is Alpha Team, and like they already had sent the Bravo raccoon team and they all got taken out that's basically all the people that you find in the mansion i think rebecca is like the only one left from the first team that got sent in so then they send an alpha team which has jill and chris and wesker i wonder why they wouldn't send their a team first considering how serious this is Wearing sunglasses in the forest at night makes perfect sense, Mr. Wesker. Yep, that's Wesker. Don't you love how long they take to start shooting the rabid animals that are devouring their teammate? Come on. Oops, see you, Brad. Brad just noped right out of there. Chris, this way. Thank you, Wesker. There's Barry. I would be dead in the first second I got chased. <laughs> it's pretty rough. Enter the survival horror. And that's where the term there survival horror came from. Now. Just kidding, Captain I don't know. Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. Yep, Chris is missing because we picked the Jill, Jill playthrough. What is this place? What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house. So mundane for, sure. for how hey, Wesker, serious the situation Chris? is. Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. It looks great. I really like how this looks. What was that? I can already see a big improvement with the no. cutscenes. In the GameCube version, every time the camera switched angles, it, it took like a second to load. Every time during cutscenes, which was kind of bad. But that's not here anymore, so that's pretty cool. Stay sharp. I never understood the shoulder pad looking things that Jill has. 
Yeah, I don't know. I assume it's some type of like body armor, but why would she need that for her shoulders? Unless she like plans on tackling people. A dining room. You could see the ink ribbon on the table. That's so weird. All right, so. Yep. The controls are how I want them. Perfect. So we don't have to go messing around. I'm really glad that they gave you the option to choose the original controls. Because I've already ranted about this enough. Here's our first ink ribbon. Um, Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, Code Veronica 4. They all played the... They had the same exact button layout. You know, R to aim the bottom face button to your action button, um, the left face button on the controller to shoot while you aim. You know, that that's it was always the same. And then suddenly for RE5, and then um, the, the, uh, the later ports of RE4, they swapped the action and the run buttons around. And damn, did that bug the hell out of me so much. When the two have run each other through, yeah, this is like, later we don't need to worry about that right now um wesker looks like he has he hides snake eyes maybe he is uh did they accidentally put a little too much physics on jill oh are you talking about like um uh maybe i doubt it was on accident but at the same time you wouldn't think you know it's not like She's super hugely endowed that she would be bouncing all over the place. And she even has like a belt you think that would be holding herself in place, so. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. I hope this I isn't Chris's blood. Chris's. Yeah, Barry just examines. The character models look so good, though. Like the wrinkles and in Barry's eyes. Well, I just like how Barry's examining the blood. Just let me look at it a little longer. I need to really check to see if it's Chris's blood. Uh, just need to take a little taste. Alright, so we're just gonna head on in here. I didn't notice. Yeah, I mean, Cap it's not like Capcom hasn't done that before, you know, giving, making characters bounce around a bit. Although it's it's kind of ironic because most people, like, when it comes to like people talking about Jill being attractive, they they aren't usually talking about her boobs. They're usually talking about her butt because that's what you see the most while you're playing. Here it is. The classic first Zombo. This looks great, by the way. Watch, the blood falling on this guy's face. Like, yeah. It, it's it's definitely... Okay, so we don't want to fight him. That'll just waste bullets. What we want to do is go back to the dining room. This is a beginner's trap. You'll waste a bunch of ammo just shooting this guy because you're panicking. What is it? Look out! It's but a monster! It's, it's a monster. Let me take care of it. But Barry's got the big boy gun. That still took a lot of shots though. But there you go. We save ammo, let Barry no, take care of it. I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. I think they're still using pre-rendered backgrounds even on the PC version. Oh, they definitely are. Which I think is the right thing to do, because it's just, um, I don't think we'll be needing this for a while, so I'm going to leave this here for now. Um, it just gives it a look, and I understand that they had to kind of blow up the resolution, so you kind of see, you know, it doesn't look quite as good as it did on GameCube, but, uh, 
it still holds up pretty well, and I think it just gives it that look that the classic Resident Evil games should have. Like, they should have pre-rendered backgrounds. It just feels right. Oh, we gotta report back to Wesker, right. I can't betray Snake, though. <laughs> Um, what are your opinions on the cris Crimson Heads? Oh my god, the Crimson Heads. What was that noise? Maybe we better go check. Oh, he's gone. That's chill. Um, y the Crimson Heads are the major suck. But... We, we should be able to deal with them okay. I mean, it, it's kind of sadistic, the fact that they even exist. For those who don't know, the Crimson Heads are... When you kill zombies in this game, and you don't kill them properly, they will come back worse. And that's what a Crimson Head is. Hey, Ducky. Good idea. Sorry you didn't get that notification sound, but uh, you, didn't, you haven't really missed too much. We just started. Wesker's missing. I think Barry just wants us to check around. Like if you try to leave, it won't let you. Let me see. Yeah. So we just need to run around. So I wonder how they were able to implement um, the widescreen. Barry. I, I noticed that there's some camera shifting no, here and there, and What's the original did not have the camera shifting, so I'm guessing that's Same probably here. what Chris, they have to do to fit it in. There's not much we can do. Hey, J Dub, what's up? Search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. It's a lock pick. You'd make better use of it. Thank you. And that is why you pick Jill instead of Chris right there. Jill also starts off with a gun. For some reason, Chris does not start off with a gun. You know, you think he would have one because, you know, there's stars. Did I call them rac raccoons earlier? I meant to say stars. Okay. A Metal Gear Solid Resident Evil crossover, that would be amazing. Alright, so we're gonna check out the, uh, the first floor. And I know there's something we want to do right here. So I remember a pretty good amount of this game, but it, it has been a while since I played through it, so... I probably am still gonna have uh, parts where I need to think about what I'm doing. There, there's also, like, this gaming phenomenon where when you remember most of a game, but not all of it, you'll get to a point where suddenly a part that you your first time through was easier, uh, whoops, I wanted to push that, suddenly becomes harder because you're accidentally um, skipping a step. Since you know enough of the game, you know what comes next, so you, you try to get to that step faster than you're supposed to, and then it ends up actually delaying you. I always wanted to like come up a name with a name for that phenomenon because I know I'm not the only one who experiences it. So there we go, we got a map. Oh the first floor. Definitely gonna be helpful. Um I wish newer games let you teleport in chests. That's true, all the chests are linked somehow. Thank God, unless you're playing on like after you beat the game, you unlock like a survival mode where you the chests don't teleport. Which is just like... You'd have to be a masochist to play that. Whoops. Keep forgetting. In this game, if you want to push a block, you just have to run into it. I keep thinking I'm playing like Ocarina of Time. Um, love it when characters actually hand things to each other. Didn't look like they made a lockpick for Barry to hand him, but a Barry pantomime in the games even today. Yeah, it, it is cool when they when they put in that those little extra details. Um, 
Didn't listen, Jay. What phenomenon? I'll propose memory betrayal for the concept. That's a good one. Uh, Ducky, it's basically this phenomenon where you 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 remember most of a game, but not all of it. So you get to a point where you know something is coming up next, but you accidentally skip a step and you try to get to the next step preemptively, and it actually ends up delaying you or confusing you more than the first time you played it. So we're coming over here for reasons you'll see in a sec. All right, so this is our first defense item. So you get defense items in this game. I think Jill has dagger and then she gets batteries for a taser. And basically what a defense item does, it's diff it's not my knife, it's actually a whole different thing. If a zombie grabs onto you, you can use the defense items to get them off you before you take damage. So these are good and I have that set to manual you can set your defense items to be used automatically. Oh, they'll probably tell us right now, actually. I didn't really have to explain that. If your defense item mode is set to manual, you want to press LB, yeah. So I need to remember to press that. Um, let me make sure it's equipped, actually. Yeah, it is equipped. Okay, cool. Hey, Koi. Welcome. Um... This menu has never looked cleaner. Alright, so let's hopefully... Yep, that happens. As soon as we get our first defense item, zombie shows up. But if we're lucky, let's see. Oh, nope, I ran right into him. Oh, and I didn't even use the defense item. Damn it. Oh, what a failure. I goofed that up bad. I blame this on not using the GameCube controller. So, if I had avoided him properly, um, I probably should have backed up first. I wouldn't have got hit. And then on top of that, I didn't even use the defense item that I just got. Um, maybe I should set it to automatic, because I hit the L1 button, but it didn't seem to go through. Damn it. Let's see. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm oh, about to go here. Cause I was like, oh, I'll just put it on manual. So if I don't want to waste it, but I actually did want to use it there, and it didn't come out like I was hoping. Okay, I'm gonna set that to auto. You'll like RE2 Remake then, it has similar system with escape items when a zombie grabs you. That's cool. So, now we're injured. Already. But, the good news is, we don't need to ever worry about that zombie again, because he's stuck behind this forever. As long as we don't move that. I'm honestly surprised he hasn't tried to come out and attack us. Usually, there he is. He's just slow. So... Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go save. I was hoping I could play a little bit longer before I saved. But I, I don't wanna die, because I have to if I die without saving, we're gonna get booted right to the menu and we're gonna have to actually restart from the beginning. There is no auto saving in this game. And on top of that, you only get a limited number of saves, and you can only save when you have ink ribbons which we have three of. So a really interesting concept, which I think is kind of mixed between people, is the fact that saving in this game is something that you kind of have to strategize. Like you can't just save all the time to be safe like you would in another game. You have to manage your saving. And then you also don't want to wait too long in between saving because then if you do you know you have to go back and restart a while a hey, arain martinez what's up i despised the save system when i was a kid now i find it cool yeah 
I mean, it's it's supposed to be an extra challenge, and it kind of feels like it fits in with the survival horror aspect. Aw, oh, this dude. The corpse of your comrade Kenneth. It looks like he's holding something. It's the film that belonged to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. So, it's funny because you get this videotape, like, so early in the game. And I don't think you're actually able to view it until near the end of it. And I don't know why, because I don't think there's anything really important on it, from what I remember. It's literally just footage of him being attacked by a zombie. Spoiler alert, M maybe there is something important on it, I don't remember. It's been a while since I played this. I, I love the cinematic camera angles. This is one of the strong points of classic survival horror games that, that have tank controls, is that you can do things like this. Like, this looks so nice. The shadows on the walls and the, uh, ooh, is that a taser? Oh no, it's just gun ammo. That's good too. And there's some herbs, which we could also use. That is a dead body, which, you know, may become a problem later. Um, yeah, a lot of people complain about tank controls. They say it's outdated, it's bad. But with tank controls, you're able to do really, really cool things with the camera and the perspective. It's just Kenneth's mixtape. Maybe you're right. Um, I should probably heal. This feels so weird. Um, playing this with the Switch Pro controller, which is what I'm using right now. Like I'm so used to playing this with a GameCube controller. I need to find. I need to get like a GameCube USB adapter. Okay, so you can see in the mirror, there is Zombo. Don't think we could go through there. He's probably not even dead. Well, down anyway. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, this we do, no we, uh, do want. And then they're telling us we can examine items, which is another cool... Oh god, I forgot about this guy. Completely forgot about this guy. I remember there was one dude in here, I forgot the other one. And in case you're wondering, no, you cannot reload your gun from this menu. Well, unless they change it, let's see. Oh! Okay, cool. I'm pretty sure in the GameCube version you could not do that. So that is honestly, um, that's a welcome addition because it's, it's pretty much just a, uh, see, we unlocked it. If we were Chris, we would have had to have found a, a small key to open that door, but we're not Chris, thankfully. But yeah, that was a nice quality of life improvement, being able to just drop the ammo in. All right, um, I'm gonna read some of your comments. When Rebirth came out, I let out my first video games will never look prettier. The statement held true for Resident Evil for a long while. I felt the same way, Ducky. I thought that this Resident Evil 1 remake was one of the best looking games on the GameCube by far. I think you can still do cool fixed camera stuff without tank controls. It's true, it's just, it, it's not just that just the tank controls, but just the the overall way that you play Resident Evil that it fits for because you slowly go through the corridors, they bring you in a certain way, they show you, they put things into focus they want to be into focus, they put things they want hidden that they want to be hidden, like, it just works really well. The first three God of War games have fixed cameras and all about that spectacle while still having normal analog control. Isn't it in this version where you could change the controls to remove tank control? Yes, actually, you're right, because I had a friend who was playing this. Or my, I think my brother did the same thing. They took off the tank controls, and I was like, what are you doing? You're crazy. You have to play with tank controls. It just doesn't feel right. 
So this zombie in this room is really easy to avoid. So we're just going to... This area is so big. So we're just going to, uh... Where is he though? I'm gonna jinx myself saying stuff like that. Yeah, generally you don't want to bother wasting ammo on this guy because he's a lot easier to avoid than most of the others. Where, where is he even? He must be coming around the other side. Oh, I pushed that too far. He's probably going to pop up on screen any second now. And scare the bejesus out of us. Just let me... There we go. Now, why did we break that that nice statue? Just because I felt like it, you know. There he is. Okay, we can't go through there yet. Hey, K-Chan. Play Jill's campaign so you can be a Jill sandwich. Oh yeah, we're doing Jill's campaign, all right. I had this in Resident Evil Zero for the cube. Oh, same here. I still have both of them somewhere. I'm gonna check these other doors first, see if they're, uh... Was there another door here? Okay, no, I guess it was just that one. Why do they keep remaking this game so many times? Well, this one isn't really a remake. It's, it's based off the GameCube version. It's just... It's just, like, higher resolution and some up, updates. But it basically is the GameCube version. Okay, still locked. Everything's locked. Alright. Oh, and a hint for anyone who's never played this, do not try to open the door, the front door, because the dogs you just ran away from will get in, and that's a pain in the ass. Every time I try to think back on my Metal Gear Solid 1, I imagine it having tank controls with fixed camera angle. Weird thing, that brain. Why would you not want to play with tank controls? Exactly, Ducky, exactly. Now, I can't remember which way I went. Okay, so we haven't gone right yet. That's right, we went left so I could save. So we still need to check out this area. We, we, we did the room with the map and statue in it, but we didn't go beyond that, I think. I bought RE6 for the Switch, and man, for an RE game, it's not so great, but an action arcade shooter, it's fun. I do not care for RE6 at all. I, 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 it did not work for me. Oh, never mind, we can't go this way anyways. That's funny. I thought we could. I just prefer the immediacy and responsiveness of analog control compared to tank controls. If I push right, I want my character to go right. Yeah, I under no, I understand why. I think you're definitely in the majority when it comes to that. Most people do not like tank controls. But my argument is that if you were to play this game without tank controls, it would make a lot of the skill you're supposed to learn too easy because you can get good at evading zombies and you can go, you know, you don't even have to be a professional like speedrun gamer. It's it's just something that you're you need to learn how to utilize. And I think sluggish tank controls lend itself to a game where it's not about being powerful and being action packed and just wrecking enemies like it's it's literally about what the name is, survival. It, it, it makes you feel like you're in a vulnerable position. It, it helps, anyway. Now, I do not remember what to do with the uh, blue gemstone. I do remember what to do with the arrowhead, but I feel like once we do that, we're not really going to be able to... Let's examine that, by the way. 
Yeah, because we just want the arrowhead. Um, that wouldn't really fit how Resident Evil was built. It changes the game completely. <laughs> like having free aim on Metal Gear Solid 1. They put analog controls on the menu. I think the game was built with that in mind. Well, no, because this is based on the GameCube version. Like, it, it's literally the same game. It just has some updates here and they're mostly just visual. And the GameCube version of this game did not have an analog control option. So it wasn't built with having that in mind. It, it was built with the tank controls in mind. They just added in the analog option for when they released this on PC because they knew a lot of people weren't going to you know, want to play it with that, which I still think is just unfortunate. So I do know that we want to take the arrowhead out here, but at the same time this isn't a very safe place to be. So hopefully this works out okay. Oh god. Okay. That zombie's naked. Alright, so we could put this here. I, I'm really glad that all of the uh, the pre-rendered stuff... Alright, we have to actually manually... Whoops. The pre-rendered stuff uh, still looks pretty darn good. I'm not sure what they did about that in terms of updating it, or if it just scaled up well. But I, I'm glad that it's it looks as well as it does. Alright, see, now we unlocked this area down here, but I don't think there's anything we could do yet. Oh wait, hang on, there is this. Right, I forgot about this. The Book of Curses. Oh yeah, let's take that, that's chill. The following inscription is carved in the indentation. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Eye for an eye, eye for a tooth. And then here's the uh, the stone statues, which we will be coming back to later. Uh, looking it up, the GameCube version had analog control as well. Oh, really? Well, I, I guess I never realized that. It's still just... It, I don't know. Well, the thing is, Fek, in that case, I guess it was the same idea where they just wanted it to be more accessible, but it still makes it, it, it still takes away a lot of what, how the game is supposed to be played. Because RE1 and RE1 Remake aren't hugely different games. The way that, the way that you play it is still, you know, it's basically the same thing. Like, you shouldn't be able to, like, zoom around zombies in zigzag patterns, just like, do-do-do-do, like, I don't know. I mean, people could play it how they play it, and they obviously put it, they put it as an option in the game, but to me, it, it, it it's the same as playing, like, if there was, like, a Mario game where you could fly forever or something, you know what I mean? Like, it just kind of feels like it takes away from what's, how it's intended to be played just to make it accessible for people who are having trouble with that. Which, like I said, is fine if that's the option and people want to do that. Uh, Book of Curses, The Four Masks. Yeah, Speak No Evil, Smell No Evil, See No Evil, and Cannot Speak, Smell, or See Evil. Now, I could have sworn it was Hear Evil and not Smell Evil, but I guess that's fine. When all four are falling into place, evil will awaken. It's amazing how the series went from this action militaristic combat with cheesy one-liners to... Yeah, I know what you mean. Personally, I'm not much of a stickler for how games are meant to be played. I guess, I guess the thing is for me, it's just that... Um, the tank controls are such an important aspect to survival horror games in general for me personally that it, for me, it takes a lot away just for that fact. 
because that I don't know it, it, it's 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 a part of it but it's an important part okay hopefully I could get through these guys without okay now is there something over here okay good Ooh, the shotgun shells. We don't have a shotgun yet, but we will eventually. Was there something over here? Okay, yeah, we can't go through there yet. There was, um... There... The transition from Resident Evil, the classic Resident Evil games, to 4 was kind of a big deal. Um, I would argue to say that Resident Evil 4 is the best game in the series as a game, but it's not the best sur survival horror game of the series. Because they give you so much power in that game uh, for a few different reasons. The ability to aim at any point in the enemy's bodies, um, the camera perspective being different in more open areas, uh, unlimited saves, unlimited ammo, lots of lots of aspects about RE4. Understandably, you know, because it was at that point they were kind of transitioning more action elements into it, and I'm not saying that that's the worst thing in the world. But, uh, oh yeah, we need to check out that key. But uh, there definitely was, that's when it was losing some of those survival horror elements. And I think that it blended it pretty well. It still had a pretty good balance of the two. Um, RE5 was when they took it too far, in my opinion. And they were just trying too much to like, be like its own Call of Duty in a way. So we need to figure out where this key, I'm pretty sure the key should work here because this is one of the early areas. Sorry, I'm kind of, uh, I'm like rambling. So I haven't been looking at the chat as much. Um, the franchise became like if Sonic started becoming welding a submachine gun. A oh, wielding. Welding. There we go. Alright, so... I'm not exactly sure how this hallway works. It might be on a timer. Oh, why is my controls not working? My controller got unplugged. Give me a second. There we go. Um, but yeah, I don't know if this hallway works on a timer or if it's random or how this works, but there is a chance that bad things will happen in this hallway. Could happen now, could happen next time. Oh. Okay, that was a tease. Could happen a long time from now. So while it's safe, I'm going to push, maybe I gotta push it this way. There's there's, there's some items hidden underneath these. Uh, okay, I can't push it that way. Maybe this one can't be pushed. Yeah, that one can't be pushed. It feels like it should be. Oh, this is the one I'm thinking of, maybe. There should be like ammo or something under here. There we go, I knew it. But uh, I don't know, I, I feel pretty strongly about classic survival horror games. Uh, they they have a, a big place in my heart. I like them a lot. And they get a lot of flack, so I try to do my best to defend them. Like a lot of people, you know, how they just say... 
A lot of people would say that tank controls are bad or outdated and I just I just would argue that it's not. It's just a different way of playing. It's just a different type of gameplay. I really need to find an item box. Okay, so we know that there's a bunch of herbs back here. Um yeah, we don't even need to worry about that yet anyway. Wait a minute, I own this version on Steam. <laughs> yeah, I actually got this in like a Capcom bundle like a long while back. I paid like $5 or something and I got like a bunch of Capcom games. All right, so what you want to do here is you want to remove the plug. I promise you nothing bad will happen. Quite a few strange monsters in this one. Yeah, that's the cool part of Resident Evil 1 a lot of people forget about. It's not just all zombies. You know, when you first start, it's zombies. And then as you go on through the game, you start seeing more and more of these experiments. And you read, like, the files and get, like, more of the uh, supplementary story. And you start realizing that, like, oh, they were doing... The zombies aren't even the main point of Umbrella and Resident Evil. They're the side effects. All the other creatures are what... They were actually working on the zombies are is an accident basically and it's funny when you think about it like that because when you think resident evil you think zombies but that's not even supposed to be the point of everything like story-wise um so i believe if you when you do this with chris you don't get a cutscene where you kill the, zo the zombie you just have to fight it yourself another reason like jill just has so many things go a lot more smooth smoothly for her Um, we really need to find an item box soon. You know what, I could probably take that other herb if I have to, because my health isn't full anyway. Okay, so this, okay, I hope this works out right. We haven't ran into Barry again, so this should work. There's a thing that's going to happen that Barry needs to save you from but if you've taken too long and you've already ran into Barry again since the last time we saw him I don't think he'll save you and if you're Chris there is no Barry to save you so you have to do this an entirely different way and I'll show you what it is in a second luckily the ink ribbons can stack which is another like strategic type thing like some sometimes you don't want to stack your ink ribbons so that like, say you know you're gonna go somewhere that where you want to save, but you want to sit, you want to um, leave room for more items. You can take an ink ribbon that only has one save left on it, and then get to the spot, save, and then boom, you have another spot open. But if you keep stacking all your ink ribbons, you you won't be able to do stuff like that. I'm just gonna stack these because it's convenient for right now, and I know we're gonna save more. Uh, okay, so normally we we wouldn't be able to take that. But I'm going to use this herb. Boom. Now we're in perfect health. We're going to take the shotgun. Now you notice that just did something. So what you would have to do with Chris is you need to find a broken shotgun first in another part of the mansion and replace uh, that shotgun that we just took with the broken one. With Jill, we don't need to do that. Um, thankfully, because if everything goes right, oh no, everything went terribly wrong. Uh. We're going to get crushed. We're going to get crushed. 
I really hope we don't get crushed. Please, please, Barry, cutscene activate. Please, Barry, cutscene activate. Please, 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 please. Oh God, what did I do now? I'm actually a little worried because I I don't know exactly uh, the Oscar! rules for this. Barry, help! Oh, thank God. You in there? I was pretty sure he would show, but it was getting stand. awfully close. Stand back! Grab my hand! I sure waited there for a couple seconds, buddy. RE7 has a segment that's an homage to that. I think I actually played enough of that game to know what you're talking about. And that is pretty cool. Barry! That was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Yeah, I don't know why they changed the Jill sandwich lane in the remake, Barry, unfortunately. Didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to Like, that's actually things? more bizarre. You would have fit know, nicely in a sandwich. I just had something I wanted to check. Anyway, we should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. And I think he gives you something, yeah? Thanks, Barry. We don't have room for it, though. Don't mention it. Maybe it's later. Um, if you have it on Steam, does that mean we'll get a stream of RE02? Maybe. I really like the opening to Resident Evil Zero when all the train stuff. Oh wow, achievement unlocked. What a great guy. They should have named the... Oh come on, it was so obvious. Name the achievement Jill Sandwich. What are you doing? That would have made up for the line being changed. A cannibal sandwich. She was almost a Jill flatbread. A Jill pizza. Um, I like the opening stuff in RE0, but I don't really care for when you get more into the game and you'd like wind up in another mansion. It's like, I don't know. Maybe, but I, I, I wouldn't count on it. What, I, what I th I'm thinking of doing after this is playing Resident Evil 2 Remake. Oh, here we go. Freaking item box. Perfect. We just need to get past this guy. I think this is the room with the item box. Oh, we have a shotgun now, too. I gotta remember that. Yes, item box. Sweet. There's also a giant snake later to encounter. Uh, yep. I think that's well enough known that that's not really considered a spoiler alert. Alright, so now we can start storing things here. Like, I'm... I don't even remember when we use this, so I'm gonna put this away for now. We don't really need our knife as long as we have ammo. So, this should be good. Yeah, RE0 had a strong setting, then the rest I completely forgot. I just remember the train. Yeah, because that's the most interesting part. Mansions are so scary, then it's totally not hard to get lost in them. <laughs> I know. I always think about that. Like, I don't even think I'd want to live in a mansion, even if I was rich, because it's just, like, too much room. Special instructions for the disposal of dead bodies. So they're basically telling us here that we need to set... Yeah. You need to either destroy the zombies' heads, their brains, or set them on fire. Or else they will come back as crimson heads, which is a huge pain in the ass. So we're going to be going through this hallway a lot. So why don't we take care of this guy that's right outside? Oh, I just put my ink ribbons away. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start using the ink ribbon that has a lower amount. So that we can have a one ink ribbon to, to utilize later just in case... We have to. Uh, I'll just... I'll start making multiple save files later, but... There isn't really any reason to right now. I always liked the, uh, the, the safe room music in Resident Evil games. It's just very peaceful. It's still a little chilling, but it's still peaceful enough that it's like... Yeah, this is a safe area. Nothing can get me here. So we, we refilled our fuel canteen. I think you can only use it twice every time you refill it. 
and then these things start to run out too. My mother's house has four stories, lots of passage and stairs leading to weird isolated rooms. Wow. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever been into a four story house. That would be a great setting to like film like a Resident Evil fan thing or whatever. Oh God. Boom, stabbed. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Or what we're gonna try to do. Um. Let's see if we can headshot this dude with the shotgun. Let's see if I remember how to do this correctly. Oh, we got him. Perfect. Now we don't need to set him on fire. Oh, you could pick the dagger back up? Ducky, could you always do that? Maybe because I stabbed him in the head and then I blew his head off? Whatever the case. Sick, we got our defense item back. I will have to keep that in mind later. Um, hey Jay, come over next summer. There's a vast wood in that region I would totally not lead you into with malicious intents. I always wished I lived near like woods or something like some people do. That would be such a cool place to film. I, I'm always thinking of places as like filming locations. Oh, damn it. Oh yeah, he was farther away than I thought. He might, yep, he's, he's down for now, I think. There we go. Okay. So we goofed on this guy, but we could still set his body on fire since we have the kerosene. Oh no, we don't have a lighter. Does Jill s Do you need to find the lighter or do you just have the lighter? I don't actually remember. Okay. Hmm. That's so weird. I could have sworn you just had a lighter that you always had on you. But maybe it's something you need to find and then it's always on you? God, I can't remember. I don't remember, I always assume the defense items would break after usage. These zombies are just mad random people broke into their mansion. Damn it. Now I, I don't know if I want to pour the kerosene on this body because if I don't have the lighter... Let's see, maybe I'll find the lighter. Because I know there's a room right here we could go into. Um. You'll be AFK a while, that's fine. Why not talk about Brain Dead 13 PS1? Because there's just so many games to talk about. What's the explanation for all the zombies being in the mansion again? I mean, aside from Umbrella shenanigans, was that part of what Resident Evil Zero was made to explain? Um, I'm pretty sure... Um... All the zombies were either experiments or they got loose or uh, umbrella employees, you know, because as, as you play through the game, you'll see because there's actually more to this mansion than just the mansion. You actually get into an umbrella lab, which may or may not be located underneath the mansion. And it would kind of explain how when they, every, you know, all the shit went down, um, they kind of just started breaking loose into the mansion and then eventually into Raccoon City. Okay, so we can't really do anything in here yet. Because we need the lighter for this fireplace too, so now I'm wondering where the heck do we find that lighter? With the door opening animations, I always think something's going to pop out. That is pretty much the trick they used to load the next areas. But at the same time, they kind of just, they also had that weird, look at that detail, like the dust floating in the air from the light coming in. Like that's such a cool detail. Um, what was I saying? Um, the, the, the door opening was just to load the next 
Yeah, there's no knob on that door. Oh, we unlocked this one. Cool. But it also... Uh, it also just builds suspense. You know, it looks cool. Oh, here's another guy. There we go. Sweet. I probably shouldn't be using the shotgun so much so early, but... Oh well. At least we made more room here. The wooden mount. Now I swear I played... The first time I played through this game, I carried that wooden mount with me the entire game and I never used it. And then I think the second time I played, I actually did use it. Like, whatever the case, I don't think it's mandatory. But, um... Oh, God. Alright. So, we want to start conserving ammo, so we're not... You know, if we don't need to kill a zombie, we're not going to kill every zombie. That's a big part of this game, is that... A big... Like, the name of the game here is um, Limitation. You have a limit. There is one set amount of everything in this game. There's one set amount of health. There's one set amount of ammo. There's one set amount of ink ribbons to save. Which basically means um, you, you need to conserve. You need to be careful. Hey, Bread Warrior, what's up? Haven't seen you in a while either. 99% sure they spook you with the zombie during a door opening at least once. Yeah, I think they do that too. I don't know if that's in this game or another one. Uh, who played Luigi's Mansion? I love Luigi's Mansion. Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like the vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to get near it. Or as I could tell, the mud is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace. And he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. So let's keep that in mind. Second floor, balcony, west side. This is where you come in. Uh, thing is, you're the only person to get near the damn dog without risking a serious mauling. So basically, a, an object has been hidden on one of the dogs. Um, in exchange for your services, I might just be able to get it to you. This could work out well for both of us, John Tolman. And here's some more ammo. That's always good. I'm hoping we find the lighter. It's like a phonogram. Gramophone. Pho is phonogram even a thing? Am I crazy? Gramophone. Phonogram's a thing, right? Botany. Well known that there are, I think they're just telling us about herbs here. Yeah, this is where they ha they have blue herbs back then. You know, green herbs heal you. Red herb mixed with green herb will heal you completely. And then blue herbs will actually cure poison. There we go. Damn, so we do need to carry the lighter. That sucks. All right, let's see. What are we going to do here? I could just waste an herb and use an herb, but I don't think we want to do that. But we really want that lighter. That's rough. That means you have to hold the lighter and you have to hold... Oh, the doorknob. Okay. So it goes around. Hopefully we can get to this zombie's body before he, he resurrects. Phonogram, a symbol representing a focal... Uh, a vocal sound. Okay. That makes sense. This makes me remember Code Veronica and Steve. I want to play Code Veronica sometime. Now we want to keep the dog whistle because we'll probably use that soon. Um, we want this to burn the body. Uh... I'll keep the herb on just in case. Okay, so we're just gonna go, get the lighter, burn the body, then we can put the uh, the gasoline back for now. Because we're gonna be going through this area quite a bit, especially because of that item box.
What happens when you mix all the herbs, red, blue, and green? Um, good question. I don't know if you mix blue or herbs in this game, or do you need to mix green and blue herbs to use them? I think you could just use them. There we go. Lighter. Big heal and poison cure, I think, or maybe poison resistance. All right. So he's not looking red yet. That's a good sign. So now we can use this. Back up. I guess it's automatic. Woof. Yeah. Sweet. So now that guy won't come back. Not taking any chances. Exactly. I don't know if you guys can see the achievements that pop up like I do. Looks like you can, actually. I just realized on the YouTube replay. But I got an achievement that said not taking any chances. Speaking of, we're doing okay right now. I might save again. Just so we can have this, uh... This spot. Okay, so we're gonna put the canteen away. We're gonna put the lighter away. And I know we're going to use a dog whistle soon, so let's hold on to that. And I'm going to save for now. We probably don't have to, but... Oh, right. I need to grab an ink ribbon. We'll use this one. I know red is a booster when you add it to any other herb. Green is heal. Yellow is the only in RE4, I think. So that leaves blue for poison. Yeah, blue is poison to, to uh, cure poison. We should try next time when you have all the herbs. Whoops. Um... Yeah, we'll see. I mean, if I'm lucky, I won't have to use any blue herbs, but I probably will. Have the cows ran away? I wasn't aware that there were any cows to begin with. Wait, if I kept the lighter... Wait a minute. Oh, I think I remember something now. Hang on. I think I remember how to use the wood mount and the reason why the first time I played the game I never used it. Let's see. So boom, we want the wood mount, we want the lighter. Because it, it's, it's for this room that's right over here anyway, so we might as well do it. If you combine all the herbs in the game you can actually make a salad that turns Jill invincible. <laughs> But you've already wasted an herb, so you don't get to see that. Darn, so close. We could have gone super soldier mode. Alright, so... Actually, look. I think it's right here. An unlit fireplace. So, do we use this first? Did we use it? Yeah, okay. So combining the wooden mount with... Yep, there you go. Somehow we get a map of mansion, of the second floor of the mansion. I have no idea why that happens when you combine the mount and lighting this fireplace. But it does. So I guess the first time I played through this game, I never got the second floor map. We'll try to remember that the helmet key goes over here. Sweet.
Never understand why you need an ink ribbon to save. I know about the typewriter, but what if you don't have one on you? If you don't have an ink ribbon on you, then you can't save. That's that's all there is to it, really. And on the normal difficulty, which we're playing right now, the mountain climber mode, um, there's only 30 ink ribbons in the entire game, which means you can only save a maximum 30 times if you pick up all the ink ribbons. So it's generally good to let people know that if it's their first time playing, because some people might just, you know, start saving willy nilly, as they say. Um, put the lighter away for now, and we're going to try to go use that dog whistle. Jill has some, got some much worse bugs to worry about in the next few weeks of her life. Yep. Alright, uh, I should actually check that map out. So... Red means the entire area has been cleared out. A red door means it's locked. Blue door means it's unlocked. White, what is a white door? That might be the ones that we can lock pick. Not really sure. Um, oh right, there's still an area over here we haven't been to. Don't you have to use the dog whistle on floor two? Yeah, but we need to get to the balcony first, which uh, is on the west side. So yeah, we need to start going the other way. Oh boy. All right, so a trick that I can kind of recall, for some reason, the farther away you are, the higher chance you have of getting a headshot with the handgun. At least that's, it always felt like that to me. All right, well, let's just leave him there for now instead of shooting him. Okay, armor key for that. That was the sound of him getting back up. Isn't that chill? Armor key. Nothing here but a bunch of knickknacks. Oh, cool. Yeah, we want to unlock all the sword key doors so we can discard it when we're done with it. Oh, look, Barry. Jeez, Jill. chill out. Got any good news? Other than I'm still alive. Yeah, there's zombies Madhouse? everywhere. No. Why was Madhouse in quotations? We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. Hey, hold on a sec. Look what I've found. What? A can of fizz. It's sure to yellow and mellow those things. It's yours. Hopefully you won't have to use it. That's right. He gives you acid shells, specifically, which we cannot use yet. What about you? Oh, but worry. they're still good to have. I like the buddy system we have here. I see. Thanks. I'll take it. See you later. Ciao. Yeah, why stick together when we can keep wandering around places? You know. Alright, so we want to start going towards... We haven't been in here yet. Can we unlock this? No. Armor. The armor key is used a lot on the second floor. Well, this would be leading to the west side. West side. Okay, so remember we left this guy alive, so we don't want to run into him by accident. Um, maybe we can unlock that door over there now. Oh, there he is. Okay. That's the one, whoops. Yeah, we've been in there. Let's see if we can lock this one. Yep, sweet.
thing that scared me the most in Resident Evil is the door animations. It's just dark, and all you see is the door. I always thought something was going to jump out. Well, like Fax said before, I think there is at least one time... I don't know if it's in this game or another one, but I think there is one time where something comes out of the door. But, uh... Lockpick, sweet. I kind of want a Metroid game that does the whole survival horror fixed camera thing. Here we go, I think this is where we want to be. Um, like a reimagined version of Fusion or something, the way this level design works already is a perfect fit. Yeah, it's funny because, uh, like, I don't really care for Metroidvania games, which I've said before. But in a way, Resident Evil sort of has a similar, you know, layout as a Metroidvania game. You know, you're kind of going around a big area and, you know, returning to places once you've gotten a specific item or a key or whatever. I don't know why this works more for me. I don't know what it is. It might just be the overall tone of the game, just how it is, how you play it. It just, I don't know, for whatever reason. So anyways, let's blow that dog whistle. You blew the dog whistle. Oh, here he comes. He is not our friend. Ouch. Oh, there's more than one. That's nice. It's alright. They, they don't do very much damage, I think, despite the fact that they freaking bite you 50 million times. I probably am in caution, though. I think the controls are not inverted, but they used to be before. I swear... Maybe not. Maybe I'm just misremembering. But I swear that when you pointed down, you used to go up. Whoops. Pressing the wrong buttons. Alright, yeah, my health is starting to get low. I'd better pull out the shotgun. They are getting me way too many times. Damn it. Okay, I need those herbs. Yeah, so there's a there's an interesting uh, green herb plant right here, where instead of taking the herbs for use later, you just use them right on the spot. I got pretty wrecked right there. Um. Ouch. It'd be interesting if they actually made a dog whistle noise go through the game so you can't hear it, but like, if you have a dog, they hear it. We took the collar. Now let's examine the collar. This is another thing I wish that they would would have done more in the later Resident Evil games, is when you examine items to like, unlock things about the items. A coin was hidden inside the collar. A coin? It's actually a key. But it's an imitation of a key. It's not a it's not a complete key. Which means we can't use it yet, but I think I remember exactly where it goes. So so far my memory is is doing well. There was a Metroid game in development that got canceled that was called Metroid Dread. That's interesting. Speaking of inversion, did you hear they randomly inverted the controls in Sunshine for the 3D All-Stars and gave you no option to change it back? Why is it every time I hear a new thing about All-Stars, it just gets worse? I'm really glad I didn't get it. I mean, I'm sure, like I said, I don't want to put down people who got it and enjoy it. But man, Nintendo, how many... How many dumb decisions can you make about, like, your most beloved mascot, too? Like, this could have been a great celebration for your, your biggest character. 
You probably don't need this dog whistle anymore. Yes, let's discard it. I used to keep the items my first playthrough, which is a dumb idea. If it tells you to discard an item, discard it. Because you're never going to use it again. Okay. So... I think now we want to go to a place that's located on the first floor. Which way would that be? I don't quite remember. But I think it's on the first floor somewhere. We could check the map if I you know to read it properly. I know it's not in the back. Um Hang on, let me see. That's chill, right? Wonder what's on the other side of this door. Let's hope we never find out. Don't worry, we will. Eventually. Alright, let's go this way. Okay, pretty sure we still won't need that wooden shield for a while, so we're gonna leave that there. Um, which ways have I been? Let's see, can we unlock this door? No. Oh, this dude's just chilling back here. See if we can headshot him. Alright. Oops. Can't unlock this door. Elevator, but it's can't be accessed. Oh, we haven't been down here yet, have we? I think this is the kitchen. Last use? Yes! Sweet. It's always nice when you're done using a key so you can get rid of it and then, um, you know, you know you're not just looking around for more places. Although with Jill, you could all, you know, it's always possible that there's doors you can lockpick. Uh, I'm back. What did I miss? Not too much. We're just making steady progress. We were almost a Jill sandwich. The new Super Mario 35 is fun. Oh yeah, that looks fun. I actually want to try that. I haven't tried it yet. But it looks like something that I would enjoy. Uh, that's chill. Too bad we don't have our stuff to burn him with. Let's see, is there even anything in here? The map should tell us. Yes, the room is red. Which means there should be something that we can pick up somewhere. Unless it's just... Oh, there we go. There's a dagger right on there. Totally missed that. And that's probably going to trigger the zombie. Maybe not. Alright, I guess that's all that's down here right now. Wait, let me check again. Oh, there's another door right there? It's locked from the other side. Okay. Oh, here we go. Dude, that's so crazy. It almost looks like live action footage, doesn't it? I know the, res like, the resolution isn't super high, but I love how realistic that looks. Jill, you fall on your butt a little too often for a trained professional. Although this is pretty spooky, so I guess I can't really blame you. <sighs> I should have probably just avoided him. I need to commit to either killing them, like trying to headshot them, or... Let's see how much ammo do I have. I have plenty. 
Uh, I'll leave him. This is a room where it's not too hard to get around the zombies. You can collect coins, but only use them for power-ups, but you get a lot of coins from daily missions. I had no idea Mario 35 was like a daily missions type game. I just assumed it was like the Tetris 99 or whatever it's called. All right, so that's that area. Okay, so just confirming. He's starting to look a little red. I don't I don't care for that. Um Oh, maybe we need to go this way. I don't know if I've ever really went this way. Have I missed the part where Jay rejoice over a puddle? Oh no, 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 that's not for a while. That's not until we get to like the secondary area outside of the mansion, I believe. By the way, if you shoot these crows for whatever reason, they will attack you. So, yeah, you don't want to shoot those crows. I, uh, I, I, I don't recommend it. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, that, that is just a crimson head to begin with, by the way. Oh, we haven't been this way. This is probably where I needed to go. Because cause the first time we came here, we went. I probably avoided the crimson head. Yep, this is where we want to go. Alright, we need to be careful here because... If we do this wrong, we will die. But I think... Yep, okay. So as you can see, everything's chill. You know, there's some suits of armor. This is locked. But, uh, there is a key right here. May whoever takes this emblem, emblem find peace and death. Emblem. I said emblem. I know how to talk. Will you take the mansion key? Well, of course we're going to take the mansion key. Why wouldn't we? Uh-oh, that's why. So yep, this happens. But don't worry. You can put the key back. Or, alternatively, we can use the imitation key that we found. This must be where the fire emblem comes from. Um... You can shoot the crows. Do they drop items like an RE4? They sure don't. None of the enemies in this game generally drop items. Unless it's like a very specific, special thing. Actually, I wonder if we could go through this door now. Nope. Need a helmet. Which key did we just pick up? The suit of armor key? We sure did. And there were lots of armor doors on the second floor. Yeah, that was the Knuckles Knight with the spiked shield. It's basically Super Mario, the first one, but there's 35 Marios. You attack other players by killing enemies, and they get sent to the other players. That's like a really cool idea. Can't lie. Um, I don't know where that crimson head went, but uh, you know what? I think it's the crimson heads that can actually go through doors sometimes. They'll like knock, they'll bust doors open. And speaking of, can you hear like Is that... Can you guys hear that? Definitely sounds like someone trying to break a door open. I don't like that.
Alright, well now we need to try more doors because we have the armor key. Um, yeah, might as well try this one too. Sweet! <laughs> Those crows need to stop smoking. You can kill Bowser and get Bowser sent to another person? That's awesome. Commemorating the completion of the mansion. Gives off a pleasant aroma like a fine wine. Hey look, it's a piano. Expensive looking grand piano. I wonder if pianos are like officially the most expensive instrument. Like a like an actual piano, like not like a keyboard. They must be. I always get so excited if I'm somewhere where there's a piano, because I it's rare that I get a chance to like actually mess around on one. The musical score. Let's examine it. Moonlight Sonata. A section of the music is missing, leaving only the beginning and the end of the music. Which means we need to find that missing section um, before we can utilize this. And is there anything left in this room? It is red, but it might just be because we can't use the piano yet. There wasn't any other doors, right? Yeah, okay. So we probably have to come back here later once we find the missing uh, sheet. Organs are pretty expensive. Must be why there's a black market for them. Oh, I get it. At first my brain was like, really? There's a black market for musical organs? That's kind of weird. I cannot remember if the armor key was used down here. No, 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 there wasn't. No, it was locked from the other side, and then there was an elevator we couldn't use, so we definitely don't want to go down there. Look, I have a memory. My memory actually works when it comes to the games that i played before, somehow. Yet, if the same thing were to occur in a new game that I'm playing for the first time, I would be like, Uh, cannot retain information. Too overwhelmed by game playing for first time. Piano PS, uh, PTSD for Super Mario 64. I know, right? Okay. Helmet. All right, so we know a lot of the second floor doors were armor key related. You know what? I should have checked on the map which doors were still locked. Wow, we have 13 viewers right now. Awesome. I guess there are still our fans of the of RE1. Um, all right, let's see if it works here. Yep, sweet. This is like an outside patio area, but like an enormous patio. So many daggers, so little time. Oh no, it's one of the Bravo team dudes, I think. So if you notice, he has an enormous weapon right next to him. Uh, we do have space for it. But before we do that... Oh no, he st Okay, I thought if you grabbed it, it would trigger him to get up. Apparently not. Apparently he'll just get up. Oh, he's fast. Why are you so fast? Damn it. I forgot about my defense weapon. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna grab one of these right now. And, uh, already had an herb. I did not expect him to be so fast.
We're probably never going to come here again. So it's okay if I don't dispose of his body. Okay, this actually works out perfect because we don't want to come back here anyway. And we want to pick up that... I believe it's a grenade launcher. This dude had a grenade launcher and somehow he still got wrecked. Um, maybe Jay has yet to realize the true horror at play, that he's the one with fans. That's impossible. Look, it's, it already comes pre-equipped. Sweet. And is everything... Yep. Okay, we never have to come to this area again. And there's no other... It's funny, they, they think of all the work they put in for this one area. Like, all these different sections and different perspectives and like the plan in the foreground and the those moths flying around the light all for this one section that takes like a minute and you, you never have to come back here again I really appreciate it all that work they put in all right um we might have to take a visit to that item box again because we are full which way was that item box Oh, okay. oh yeah, typewriter item box. So, uh, I suck at reading maps. It's on the first floor. Ah, uh, uh, better safe than sorry. I know there. I'm pretty sure there's a way to get there on the. Second floor as well. But hell if I could remember. Okay, so if we just go do do do. Basically go the long way around. Alright, Sabine, thanks for, for joining in as, as long as you could. Save the herbs for the red, the green, and the blue. I probably won't be using like a red, green, and blue combo because I'll, I kind of need to conserve, not to like spoil the fun or anything. But I'm pretty sure all it would do is heal you completely and cure poison, since that's pretty much what all the other um, Resident Evil games do. Have we been this way? I don't think we. Then this way, really. Oh wait, yeah, we have. That's how we went this way. Okay. Oh great, awesome, sweet. Oh boy, all oh, my friends, all oh, my friends arrived. Don't you just love it when the once safe hallway is suddenly infested with zombies? And now you have to worry about that next time you go through there. Awesome. Oh! Oh, you opened the door. Thanks. I thought I would check out the other side, but apparently that was bad timing. Okay, item box room. Thank God. I never read this, did I? I left you some bullets in the room on the right. Feel free to use them if you manage to get yourself in trouble, Barry. Well, that's thoughtful. Okay, so... Oh! He actually left, like, new stuff. So so I, I didn't just skip the letter last time, he just hadn't been to this room yet. That's good to know. We'll put the missing music away because we don't have the missing piece yet anyway. Um... We do not need the grenade launcher at the moment. So we'll put the ammo away as well. Let's see. We have lots of handgun ammo. Shotgun ammo's. 
Should be okay. Although he did just leave us more grenade ammo. Incendiary shells. Incendiary. The English language that I grew up with. Alright. Item management is a very important aspect of this game, as you'll soon realize. Hmm. See, I don't want to start using the grenade launcher yet, but at the same time, my shotgun's getting low. What? If I had to guess, I think I would be getting more shotgun ammo soon. Also, let's save to be safe. We'll start working on this uh, pile of ink ribbons. English is tough no matter how much time you spend with it. Yeah, that's true. Plus, English is also kind of a language where you could get away with a lot of quirks. You're like, oh, yeah, I just pronounce it like this. You know what I'm saying. All right. Um, all right, I'm just going to keep what we have because we are going to be unlocking more doors and probably picking up more items. So we want to save up some space. So you can kind of quickly see why I prefer Jill. The main reason is because of the item slots. The fact that Chris only has six item slots is just so bad. I don't know who thought that was a good idea. I'm not even sure why he can only hold so little. Let's see if we go open this door. Yep, we can. Probably should have checked around the other side first, because I think that leads to a dead end anyway, but eh. That's fine. Um, there's our first red herb. I'm going to leave it right here for now, because this is very close to our safe area anyway. Use a lockpick. Oh, it's Barry. Ah. Jill. Barry, I didn't mean to get you that excited. Right. Anyway, <laughs> only a little research. excited. The dialogue is so silly. Researchers will. A letter is slipped inside. The top part of the letter is torn off. The rest of the letter is legible. Elma, I've tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts only delay the inevitable. I'm infected and there's no cure for what will follow except to end my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them. My love for you. In an hour I'll have entered my eternal sleep where there is peace. Please understand, please know that I'm sorry. Martin Crackhorn. These letters are, are pretty heavy. What do you make of it? Well, I guess we were right about this mansion being quite unnatural. You have a way with understatements. Where's the part that's torn off? Well, my only guess is that it was the most important part and somebody didn't want it. My guess is that somebody tore it off. Let's continue our investigation. I don't even remember seeing Barry in this room. I wonder if this is a scene that I never really, like, I waited too long to see. Uh, you'd think he would take advantage of those all those pouches on his tactical vest. I know, right? Water tank sounds like something- smells like something once lived in there. Will you take the fish hook? Uh, do we have enough room to do this puzzle? I think we do. Various types of fish hooks. Will you take the bee specimen? I sure will. And now... See, this is why you don't want to carry too many items. You always want to make sure you have space when you're going somewhere new. Will you take the lure of a bee? Yep. Collection of insect specimens. There's a switch underneath. Press it. Uh, not yet. I think if you press it, a, a bee will come out and attack you. 
which I know it sounds ridiculous, like a mad villain's lair. So what we want to do is... Which one do we... do we combine... Okay, so we combine this with this. And then we put this here. Right. They were both in the wrong places. And then we want to put this over here. Pretty simple stuff. Because one was a lure and the other was an insect. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. But we, we do want to hit that button though. There we go. Oh, the bee comes out anyways. Oh, it comes to life. That sucks. Look at how huge that thing is. And it's dead. No, not the bees. What's your best ability, Jay? I don't remember this at all. This might not have been in the original game. I sure will take the wind crest. Pretty sure I know where that goes, too. Um, I think that's everything in the room. Let's see. Yep, cool. I'll pick up the red herb on my way back to the safe room. If I have space still. See the way the camera moves like that? Um, the original one did not have swinging cameras like that. Resident Evil Zero did have swinging cameras, but not this one. Uh, not yet. See if there's something else that we want to pick up before I go around grabbing ink ribbons. Is that a first aid box? Yeah. Let's not grab that yet either. Huh. Wait, wait. The footprints look like they're heading straight through the bed. That's a little suspicious, ain't it? Maybe it's a, a g g ghost. Yeah, I'll take the greener, why not? We can always mix those together. I think this room is just full of supplies. So yeah, I might as well grab everything. Yep, we had a bee attack. I played Rebirth way more than the original. Oh. I guess he just forgot. There, there's a lot of things, so, you know. Definitely can't blame you if you forget something. What kind of virus makes ghosts? You should ask the original uh, build of RE4 before they changed everything. Since Leon was supposed to be fighting ghosts that may have actually been hallucinations. It was kind of uncertain. Let's drop stuff off in the item box. The G stands for ghost, the G virus, yeah. Who likes Rebecca Chambers? Who doesn't? I like Rebecca, she's cool. We won't be seeing her this playthrough because she's only in Chris's playthrough, unfortunately, but... We get Barry, which I think is a, a pretty even trade. So we have even more ink ribbons now. So once again, I recommend do not combine your ink ribbons, just in case. You want to take an ink ribbon with you, like one single ink ribbon, and then save to get rid of it to make room. A time will come where you will want to do that. Albert Wesker does to an uncomfortable degree. Really? I don't know about all that. Okay, we haven't checked... 
over here. I know there's that red herb still in the other room, but it's it's so close to the safe area. Might as well just leave it there. Until we, you know, really need it. Alright, can we open this? Uh, I didn't think so. The helmet key. I think you use the helmet key like once or twice and then you're done with it. Did you never look in Wesker's Desker and RE2? Um, it's been a long time since I played RE2. And I only played it once, so I don't remember it like a whole, whole lot. Okay, where do we want to go now? Looks like there's a lot of doors we haven't tried to open yet. Oh, wait, I know. Because there was a guy trying to kill me right out here. The doorknob looks like it's ready to fall apart. Oh, boy, don't you love that? Alright, well... I think it's time for this. Yes. Okay. That's so satisfying when you get a headshot. Yeah, if you're not using the shotgun to headshot uh, zombies, then you are you are wasting shotgun bullets for sure. It's just okay. Spencer family emblem. Can't go that way. Oh boy, another one. He has a photo of Rebecca in his desk in either a basketball or cheerleading uniform, I think. Wow. Um, that is a little, that is, I think she's only like 18 too. She's like, she's like a super genius who like got through college at a super early age and she got onto um, the stars team just cause she excelled at like everything. So that is a uh, pretty uh, unsettling. Bring the light of truth to the three spirits. Am I gonna need the lighter? Oh, I remember this. Okay, you don't wanna touch any of these things yet because if you do it wrong, the crows will get angry. So I think there's something that'll tell us what to do. Actually, I think we need that wooden shield now. I think it's for this area. So, we can come back here, let's see in the map, where is this, okay, alright, try to remember that. Bring the light of truth to the three spirits, okay. Especially considering he's her boss, yeah, that's true too. And he's like the top top boss, like the captain. All right, that works. I might have to burn you. I don't like you being here. This leads to another, the next area, I think, beyond the mansion, which we're, we probably can't go to yet. But I might be able to uh, put down one of the key items first. There's something written in the indentation. The defiler of the accursed coffin. Oh, God. Where the hell did you come from? Oh, no. I didn't mean to hit reload. There we go. We are able to actually use it. Okay, that did it. Jeez. I thought I heard rustling. Okay, so this doesn't go there. This goes somewhere else. Okay. And that did say the defiler of the accursed coffin, so I, I, I know. Yeah, we're not going to go this way for a while still. See ya, Ren. Oh god, I forgot about you. God damn it. 
how many shotgun shots do I have left too? Okay, maybe we could get my defense knife back. Oh! Another one! Oh! Don't be dead. Don't be dead yet. Get up so I could blow your head off. Oh, he's bleeding. Alright, well, we're gonna burn you then. Oof. That's rough. We had to go back to get the wooden shield anyways. Was it this? Wait... Oh, no, it's the other way. I have a joke for you. What do rockets do on the 4th of July? Um... Do they burst in air? The flag was still there? That's my... Uh, that's, that's my guess. Alright, let's put this away for now. Um... Oh, I never grabbed the wooden shield. Oh no. Me trying to save space backfired. But we do want to set that guy on fire, so let's still do that. Fireworks, it's a bad punchline. Wait. What do rockets do on the 4th of July? Fireworks. I'm confused, but I'll, I will accept it. They shoot up. <laughs> yeah, they kind of do. Alright. Oh, boy. Okay. I saw blood and I thought he was red at first, but he was just... Bloody. Back up, back up. Yeah, if you're standing right there, it hurts you a little bit. Alright, good. At least this hallway's safe again. Uh, Have we really checked out this? Oh no, yeah, that's the puzzle that I need. I have a better one. What are beans in winter? Wait, wait, wait. I think I know. They're... Freezy holes. That was awful. Um, yeah, let's put this stuff back. Well, we get to go back through the hallway full of a bunch of new enemies. So you know what? I might just say screw it and grab the grenade launcher. As long as I, I don't use all the ammo up. See, I'm someone who's played this before. I know to be conservative of my ammo and everything. And it's still, you know... You know, it's still uncertain. Actually, let's fill this canteen up so I don't forget. But half the kerosene remains. Not a single drop. So you only get four uses out of that huge thing. Cold. Nah, they are just chilly. That's better. Mostly because I like chili. Chili's the bomb. Alright, I'm gonna take this grenade launcher. We need to go back, get the wooden shield. Good thing I remember that in advance. I'm pretty sure we're about to use that right now. Oh, this freaking doorknob better not break. Oh, the doorknob's broken. Oh, okay, so there must be another way to to get back to the start, and I just hadn't been using it. I thought that, that door the doorknob breaking was scripted, but I guess not. So I guess we have to go... Wait, let's look. Oh yeah, this would lead back to the front, okay. 
I knew there was a way to get here from the second floor. I just wasn't sure how. Um, this way. Oh boy. Oh, the armor key. Well, might as well go in here. Is this an outside door? Wow, I forgot about this. Um... I completely forgot about this room. Woe to those who disturb my sleep. There's a switch here. Press it? Not yet. Because I'm pretty sure... Wait, is there something back here? There's something to this depression. Oh, I see. Yeah, I think I see what we have to do. Luckily, I, the first move I made was the right one, I think. We just want to match the pictures. Wait. Oh, it's a little more complicated than it looks. And then does this one make the other one pop back out? No. Uh, maybe, maybe that's what you're supposed to do. Let's see. Oh, no, you just wanted to put them all away. I thought you wanted the ones in the back to, like, be a certain way, but I guess it wasn't that kind of puzzle. It was a different kind of puzzle. You got the mysterious box. Let us examine the mysterious box. Design of the sun and the moon. On the plate, it says sunshine will awaken me. There's a switch. Will you press the switch? Not quite. Yet. Okay. So we want to create the sun, which would be the two half hearts. So there's a half heart. And here's a half heart. There we go. Oh, it's one of the masks. Sweet. Now we just need to find three more of these. Uh, oh, hey, Jay, what's up? Oh, I just realized you're not Ducky. Sorry, you're- oh, God. Hey, uh, Johnny Williamson. Thanks for joining. Uh, sorry, I kind of saw your comment at the corner of my eye, and yours and uh, Ducky's icons looked similar in my peripheral vision, so I didn't realize that you were somewhere else. Uh, oh. Another key. Sweet. Well, thanks for that, Che. <laughs> My bad. Richard. Oh, it's Richard! What happened? You're wounded! This whole place is a killing zone. There are monsters. What did this to you? A big snake. A big snake. Poisonous. Yeah, that's the Poisonous. understatement of the Richard, century. Hold on. Bring me serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Thanks. So I will try to save Richard. The unfortunate part is that I don't think I've found the room that has the serum in it yet. But, uh, oh, they tell you. Okay, first floor. Can I even get in there yet?
Uh, I'll try my best. The serum is in the room C, you can't miss it. Too many of us have, have mostly white icons. It's true, like everyone in the chat right now. Okay. We're gonna try our best to save Richard. Sometimes you save them, sometimes you don't. It just depends on how fast you do it. And here's the wooden thing I needed. So, we were going this way anyway, luckily for him. Metal Gear Solid Resident Evil Edition. Colonel, it seems that there's zombies. Ugh, Metal Gear. How the hell do I get to that room? Oh God, Jesus Christ. Um, ouch. One more hit and I think I'll be in danger. Can, if I could just use this. Oh, knife, knife. Why aren't you knifing? I died? Oh no, I can't remember the last time I saved. I must have been out of defense items. Damn, that sucks. I planned on, like, next time I saved. They gave me the achievement, get used to it, but I shouldn't have died. That was really dumb on my part. I, I made a really bad mistake. Damn it. When was the last time I saved? My plan was that the next time I saved, I was going to probably wrap things up. Oh, okay, this sucks because now I can't remember what I've done already. Okay, we still have the armor key. Oh, I'm pretty bummed out about that. We have the grenade launcher stuff. See, I was in red danger. Or, sorry, I was in caution. I wasn't in danger yet, which is the worst status, or else I would have healed. But if I hadn't mixed my two herbs together, I would have just used one herb anyway. I should have just used them. That was dumb of me. I thought I had a defense item, and I also forgot that Crimson Heads could even bite you. I thought that they only slashed at you, so that a bunch of things led to my demise, basically. God damn, I wish I could remember. Okay, so we haven't been over here yet. Ah, oh, what a bummer. Oh, we have to do this. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll just skip the cutscene. What do you make? All right, and then we'll just do this puzzle real quick. Oops, I keep... We need the gold thing first, because we don't have room to have... to hold all three. But I mean, that just goes to show you how easy it is to die in this game. If you're not careful. I'm probably being a little too... conservative with my saving. I could probably stand to save a little more. Um, oh yeah, I need to put this here first. Ah, I had the grenade launcher and everything, but I did not expect to see that crimson head. That really threw me off guard.
dumb bee. Okay. Um. So we did that. The door suspense got me on edge, and it's eleven seventeen. <laughs> I forget what was over here. Is this that long hallway puzzle? No. Oh, this is just the room full of other items. Um, What's my health at? Maybe I haven't been I'm fine right now. Ink ribbon. Ah. Oh, I'm holding an ink ribbon too. I was supposed to put that in the box. This is, everything is a mess right now. Well, you know what? I'm just going to take the first aid spray and then I'll keep a mental note that there is an herb and an ink ribbon in here. Yeah, the part that sucks about that death is that it's not that we weren't prepared, we had the tools to deal with it, we just were caught off guard and then didn't heal when we should have. Okay. Put these items away. I'm gonna try my best to save Richard, and then, um... Okay, I must have burned a body, because I have the one here still. That's right, and then I did headshot a guy. Yeah. Maybe two guys. I think just one. I think it was this way. Richard isn't dead because Richard hasn't been found yet. Because we have to restart everything again. Oh god, here I go. You know what, let's try to headshot this guy. There we go. That was beautiful. And we get our dagger back. We have four defense daggers. I don't know how the hell I didn't use the one. Oh, and it, no, it's set to automatic now, so I must have just ran out somehow. That's crazy. Oh, we got to do this puzzle again. Okay. I don't think we were too far behind, honestly. There was just some puzzles we had to do still. Um, I think we want this one to be pushed back. The Sleeping Knight. They have names? I should have just did this in the order I did it the first time. Wait, this will make him go back? Or this one will? One of them will. There we go. That does it. Wait, it didn't open! 
Oh, right, you have to hit the button. My brain, for a second, I was like, wait a minute. We just did this. Forgot you gotta press the switch. And if you press the switch before setting the knights in the right places, they all come to life and attack you. <laughs> just kidding, they don't do that, I think. Alright, so we wanna do heart. Heart. Boom. Got the the death mask. Alright. I think that's pretty much all we did, and then we found Richard and we were trying to go get the serum, so. Right, we're not too far behind. This might be where we found him, actually. I think it was. Chill, my man, trying to live his afterlife. Yep. Richard. Okay, so we're gonna skip it. There we go, see? We weren't that far back. Thankfully, a good amount of it was just cutscenes. I think this could lead back to the main room, maybe. Although we're not going to have a whole lot of room, are we? But the serum that we're getting to has an item box, I think. I think. Yeah. Okay, so once we get there, we should be good. This time I have my shotgun. And that... Crimson Head is not catching me off guard. Also, my health is a lot better. Oh, you know what it was? It was that that dog took a bunch of health out of me. All right, Crimson Head, I'm ready for you this time. Come on, punk. Come on. Want a piece of this, huh? Wow, he's not transformed this time. Okay, can we even open this? No. So how are we supposed to get to that place to begin with? This would lead around and that would go upstairs, so that doesn't work. I don't think we're even able to get in there yet, so I think Richard's dead. Unless, wait a minute, hang on. He might have a chance yet, let's see. I think there's a stairway I never went down around this area. But this is just where that other crimson head is, damn it. Oh boy. Okay, uh, let's think here. Right? Oh, do we have the key for that? If we have the key for that. Oh god. Ah, damn it. Ah, damn it. He's not dead. We do not have the key for that. Oh, and there's another guy. I think Richard's dead. Which sucks, because that means- Oh, there's another one? Which means that there's another scene we're not going to be able to see. We need to save Richard in order to, to get a cool scene for later. But it's starting to not look so- great that we're going to actually be able to do that. Damn it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yup, this way. Okay. 
Yep, we have not been down these stairs yet. This might just be exactly where we need to go. Of course, there's a guy down there. Because that goes downstairs, which, yep, look at that. That leads down to the room we need to go to. Oh, I, that was beautiful. My controller stopped working. I really wish they auto pause when your controller uh, loses connection because that's not. This is not a good game to suddenly lose control. Here it is. This is the room we had to go to. Here's the item box. All right, we do not need this. Shotgun can't use it anyway. Uh, that way too. We're gonna be using that soon, so I will hold on to that. Serum. There we go. And you know what? We're wasting a little time by doing this, but let's save real quick. Just in case something happens. I don't want to have to redo all that stuff a uh, third time. I'll just do three. No! Okay. Oh boy, we don't have a shotgun now. You know what? Grenade launcher. Just in case. The zombie moan sounds like a drunk Kiko. <laughs> oh, are you from Kiko streams? Is that where you, where you come from? I was wondering. The crossover is, is real. Alright. And it said the door was locked from the other side. Okay, hang on. Run, 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 Okay, yeah. It's a shortcut. We couldn't get in from the other side because the door was locked. Oh boy. Okay, so... We want to just, I guess go this way. Yep, okay. Well, that shortcut's gonna help a lot. So do you guys think we're gonna get to Richard before he, uh, he rips in peace due to the snake poison or? Nah, we'll, we'll probably get to him. I shouldn't have saved though, because now I'm going to save again. Well, we'll see. We will see. That guy still is in a crimson head like last time. Alright, we got one vote yes, one vote no. Hopefully I remember which way to go. Oh god, I don't remember. I actually can't really remember. Was he on the second floor? Oh no. Oh no, which room is he in? Oh no. Uh I want he was in the room that leads near up to the attic, I think. So I want to say he's He's on the second floor. through here I really should have kept track of where of where he was Oh definitely not in this room Yep, he's doomed. I can't even remember where he was. 
I do remember coming in here. There's no doors on this side. Or was I just trying to get... Ah. This is not good. I'm gonna assume this way. Ugh. Oh no, no, basement. Oh yeah, that is the- okay, he was down here. We are going the right way. I think. Was he? Oh god. I just circled back and went back to the room where the serum is in. Oh my god. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna quit and reload because we just wasted too much time. So yeah, good thing I saved it. There's like no reason to uh... We wait, that was like such a waste of time going right back to this room. I'm just gonna put this here too. As long as it's in the item box, it should be good. I didn't do anything, right? I literally just circled around. I don't think I did anything important. Oh. Hang on, let me think here. Oh! Oh, right, right. This door. I want to say Richard was on the east side of the second floor. Because he got attacked by the snake. I'm pretty sure the snake is in the attic. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. But I went to the west side. That was my mistake. Got this. Okay, we definitely want to go that way. I forgot to put my shotgun away, didn't I? Oh, I didn't. Okay, sweet. I guess I had already done that. On Richard, hang in there. Was he in one of these rooms? Yeah, I think this is it. I think he's this way. No, come on. Damn it. I reloaded it for nothing. Oh, this sucks. You know what it, you know what it was? You need to find the shortcut to the serum room before you talk to Richard. But I accidentally talked to Richard before. Ah, oh, damn that sucks. Now we're not going to get the bonus cutscene. Ah, oh, damn, that is such a short time limit. I'm going to look it up. How long do you have to save to Richard? How long to save Richard? I'm just curious because they do not give you a lot of time apparently.
I can't find like a specific time limit, but it couldn't have been more than like, I don't know, five minutes. They all just say, if it takes too long, he'll die. And it's like, yep, that's true. So I'll just tell you now, I was hoping we would be able to see it later in the game. But if you save Richard here, he ends up dying a different way later. And it's really cool. But we don't get to see that. I do have the grenade launcher. Well. Oh, that sucks. I can't remember if I saved him or if he died the first time, but. We need the shield key. I think that's the key where you only use it on the one door. Um. He just threw up. That's chill. Yeah, the zombies can puke acid. Hey, look, ammo. It is kind of ironic that I was going so out of my way to try to save a character who's, you know, destined to die anyway. Oh, I need the lighter for this to light those candles. Ah, oh, damn lighter. That is decidedly unchill, yeah. Oh, of course, forgot about you. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Too dark to see anything. Yep, we need the lighter. We can't even get anything else in here that's important. Oh boy. And there's another dude in here. Why am I? Oh, I'm not. I didn't have my handgun equipped. I was like, ah, oh, screw it. Yeah, we just need to come back here with the lighter. I would not recommend wasting a grenade on a normal zombie like that, but I just didn't feel like dealing with him. Headshot, please. Damn it, he got out of view. Oh, come around the corner, dummy. He's stuck on the wall. See how many shots it takes to kill one of these dudes? To put down one of them temporarily? It's pretty intense. Richard is already- thank you for reminding me. What a tragic fate for such a close friend. That makes me feel better. Okay. So the serum is pointless now, by the way. I'm pretty sure it's not used for anything else. Because if you get poisoned, you use a blue herb. Maybe you can use the serum on yourself. But I know for sure the blue herbs are for the poison. All right, so we need to get to an item box to get the lighter. Oh, but then there's still the shield puzzle. Where was that at? Um, I th think, oh, it's by the typewriter box, that one that we usually use. 
which actually I could get to it faster if I just go this way. Getting kind of tired, been up for 17 hours, gonna hit the hay, see you guys later. Alright, I'll catch you later, thanks for, for dropping in. I probably won't be playing for too much longer anyways, I just wanted to do like one more thing. That thing was hopefully gonna be save richer, but that didn't exactly work out. Alright, here we go, item box. Yeah, this was much faster. Alright, um... Screw it, I'll take the lighter and I'll take the emblem. Maybe we could just do them both in one go right here. I'll try to do these two things and then I will save and wrap up. But we're still making pretty good progress though. Um, relatively speaking. Um, now which way I should have been keeping track of that. Oh, it was the one past Richard, and Richard was in here. See, ideally even, I would have found that the serum room even before we found Richard, but it did not work out like that this time. I should probably burn that body, but we won't really be coming back here again after what we do, what we gotta do. Okay, there's a zombie in here. Just gotta be careful. Unlit candlestick. For a second I thought I forgot my lighter. Alright. Yeah, whenever you have a nice object in between, like a table or something, it's generally a good idea to just avoid the zombie instead of wasting ammo. Now there's something we need still. It's probably in here. There we go, the missing musical score. That's what I was figuring. And is that everything we need in this room? No, there's still something in here. Probably something on the table somewhere. Oh, ammo over here. Is that everything? Yep, that's everything. Cool. The map is a re really good uh, feature. You know, when it's red, there's still items you could pick up. When it's tan, then you've cleared out the room. Always good to keep in mind. So that, that was that. Now I need to go to the... Where the wooden shield puzzle was at, which I believe is also near the uh, safe spot. The map in RE2 Remake is also super high quality. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to playing that. For sure. Don't wanna go up there. 
If you spot an item, it'll even keep it marked on your map if you don't pick it up. That's fantastic. That would be such a quality of life improvement for this game. Wait. Wait, we want to be on the second floor. Wait, do we want to be on the second floor? First floor. Oh, hopefully this door isn't broken. I think it's actually... Yes. It's right past this. It's ready to fall apart. Good thing it hadn't broken yet. Oh, that guy's there. Alright, so we just want to go down the hallway and to the left. And that should be what we're looking for right here. As for this guy... Let's try to avoid him. And there's the other dude. Forgot about him. The other way just leads to that outside area that we can't unlock yet anyway. Alright, so we just want to do this puzzle. Bring the light of truth to the three spirits. Now, what it... let's examine the picture at the end first. Oh, Lisa, protected by the three spirits. So she has like a green headband, a purple necklace, and an orange bracelet. Bracelet, necklace, and a crown. Oh, it's a crown. <laughs> I said headband. Green crown, purple necklace, an orange or a red bracelet. Press it? No. Hey, there's green. That's a good color. Oh, but what is he wearing? I wasn't paying attention to that. Wearing a bracelet. We want the bracelet to be orange, actually. So, okay, we'll see what happens to the other side. The necklace, we want purple. There we go. So that's proper. Crown, we want to be green. Perfect. So let's see if using the other side here turns this orange or red, I guess. I think it's orange. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, you press the switch at the end here when it's not set up right and the crows get angry and they attack you. I don't know why they get angry about that. I guess they're they're very well trained. And would you look at that? Oh, what is this? Oh, another death mask, but we can't pick it up. Oh, I didn't drop off any of my items. Wait a minute. This looks different. Is this not the area? Oh, this is a shortcut to the cemetery. This wasn't where you utilize the uh, the wooden shield. That's still later. Whoops. Yep, that is a shortcut to the cemetery for sure. Okay. Um. All right. We do want that death. Okay. There isn't anything that I could just... Like if this was one herb, I'd take it, but two herbs is a bit much. And we're right by the cemetery where you drop off the masks anyways. Well, you know what? Yeah, I've unlocked this. So next time I go to the cemetery, I just have to pop over here and grab the mask. That works. I'll just have to remember that one of the four masks is already in the cemetery. Yeah, I thought that that was where we used the golden shield, and I was wrong, and... Oh boy. Oh boy, I don't 
don't like that. I don't like that. Okay. Well, now I could use this. Screw it. Maybe we'll get a lucky headshot. Oh, I unequipped it. Nope. They're not even dead yet. Although one near me might be. Nope, neither of them. Oh, that's okay. We will deal with that later. Boy, the second half of the stream has really taken a turn for the worse for Jay and Jill. Oh. Am I going the right way? Oh no, the typewriter was in the other... Uh, yeah, it's kind of my fault for... Not being as careful as I should be. Because, like... I have a pretty good memory of the game, but I'm not like an expert, so I'm doing things that I probably shouldn't be doing. But we still made pretty decent progress. I died once, you know. It's not too unexpected that I die in Resident Evil. I'm pretty satisfied with how much we were able to do today. Because now we have the missing music, which means we could go play the piano. Um, boom. So we could do that next time. We still have more doors to unlock with the armor key. And, uh... Since those two guys are so close to the safe room, I might as well burn them. So I could do that next time, too. And we have two death masks, technically. Which, you need four death masks in, or in order to, to move on to, like, the next part of the game. So yeah, we, we uh, making pretty good progress. Let's just save now. But no, you're right. The, the first half of this, it was going pretty darn smooth. And then, uh, really, it was all when Richard showed up, things started to, uh, to fail. Let's be honest. I'm just going to save over that. Did I, did I save already? No, it's supposed to do the, uh, the typewriter effect, right? Oh, I hit no. There we go. Yeah, I was really confused. I was like, wait, what? All right, sweet. Okay. Don't try to put this all on Richard. I'm gonna put at least 50% of the blame on Richard. Alright, so, that was Resident Evil 1 Remake, um, you know, pretty much just as fun as I remembered it, uh, still a tough game, but, uh, it's not for everybody, definitely, the classic survival horror style is not for everyone, but I still really like it, it's really satisfying, because it's, it's legitimately scary. You know, a huge part of survival horror games is there is a room that you don't want to go through. So you have to work your way around it, or maybe you need to just suck it up and try to run through, or maybe you need to, okay, am I going to just waste some ammo here? Or should I save the ammo? Like, there's all these cool strategic, uh, strategic elements to survival horror games, which I really appreciate. Um, and it's cool feeling that all come back to you. It doesn't make it the most relaxing <laughs> experience to stroll through because you're, you need to be really active and thinking and stuff and it's, things can really catch you off guard, but it's a very engaging experience and I like that. Uh, when's the next stream? I will probably continue this tomorrow. Um, I don't know if you're in my Discord, but I usually give updates when I'm going to stream stuff in my Discord. And I also like notify people when I'm about to go live. Um, 
But yeah, good stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I like how Jill has her little idol animation. Let me go ahead and get, get a link for you just in case if you wanted to join the Discord. Second. All right, there's a there's a Discord if you want to join, but you don't have to. It's up to you, just for convenience. But yep, that's gonna be it for tonight. Hope that was a good start to Spooky Month. I'm gonna try to keep playing horror themed games if I can. Um, you guys all stay safe and stay healthy, and I will catch all of you next time. Thank you.